Do you remember the last book you read? Well, if not, I have three recommendations for you that you should pick up today. Hey, Jason here, and if you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing me go through Johannesburg, showing you how beautiful of a place it is in South Africa, also how safe of a place it is, and it's just like any other major city in the world. Most importantly, you've been seeing me talk about success, what it is and how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, happiness, health, and wealth. And so let's go ahead and get into today's video. Hope your Friday is going well. So <clears throat> one of the things I like to do is I love reading books. Uh, most people don't know that. I read a lot of books and I have a ton of books on a Kindle. Uh, I have a Kindle e-reader with probably over three to 400 books on there. Plus I have uh, audible books also. So reading is something that's I really believe is fundamental. And one of the things that I love about reading I feel like once you start reading a book enough, you start understanding some of the principles as it cross over into different books. And so I want to share with you three of the books that I'm reading. I'm going to just give you a quick synopsis of each one and why you should read them. So the first one, let's go with The Richest Man in Babylon. This is by George S. Clarkson. And yo, this is a great book. If you read this book, let me know what you think about it in the comments. This is hands down one of my top five books. Um, one, because this is te teaching you some of the ancient principles when it comes to money. And this is going back to the Babylonian Empire. If you're familiar with it, it was one of the richest empires in modern history or ancient history if you want to consider it ancient. Um, so this is why I strongly recommend this one. It teaches you the 10 fundamental principles of gold which still exist today when it comes to money. And if you start researching successful people and how they have so much money, they use the principles that's in this book. And just about everybody has recommended this book to me. So definitely pick you up a copy of The Richest Man in Babylon. Great book. Also, I got this one here in South Africa. Actually, I got all these books in South Africa. And so here's the second one. Now, this one was a lucky find. Or at least I think it was lucky. It's by Dr. Joseph Murphy. He is one of the... I don't, I don't know if you can call him the founding father, but one of the one of the most recognized fathers of new age psychology. And this is moving into the realm of uh, quantum physics, law of attraction, things like this. Now, his background, he was a preacher um, or a minister. However, he used mind science. So he actually taught it from a taught the Bible from a perspective of how does it mean from your mind? So this one is talking about maximize your potential through the power of your subconscious mind to develop self-confidence and self-esteem. Now, if you have a big goal that you want to reach, if you, have a, if you want to venture out into something new, I highly recommend this. Even if you have uh, maybe some relationship issues, things like this, it talks about the importance of self-confidence and self-esteem. And most importantly, it talks to you about what it really is and you give you practical evidence that he used with people that he was helping and that the things that that gave them results. He gave you tons of affirmations in here and he also shows you the uh, way to apply the affirmations. So that's why I really love this book because it's not only just giving you something to read, he's giving you practical strategies, things to do on a daily basis that will help you get the results that you want. So I really love this one. And then my third book is Atomic Habits, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, and this is by James Clear. Now, this is a really good one. I haven't read this one in about two years, so when I um, got a, saw a physical copy, I knew I had to pick it up. This is one, like sometimes when people see my routine and they're like, man, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you keep active in this? This is why. Atomic Habits, it shows you, you do little small changes, and if you commit to them, you will start seeing leaps and bounds in your results. This is one of the things that helped me with uh, releasing weight because I started changing small things about my eating and that's how with the plant base I started tweaking things. And what I mean by tweaking things like, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm eating too much vegan junk food or something like that, I know how to change those habits real quick to start getting the results that I want and also uh, stop the uh, like a better word, stop the toxic be a toxic habit that I'm doing or the habit that I don't want anymore. Too many times people just preach to us, oh, do this, do this, do this, but they don't teach us why we need to change it 
and how to change a habit properly. And so if you look, you have habits that you're looking to change, make sure you check out this book because this is a really great one. And so those are just three other books that I'm studying right now. Um, these are the three that I'm, this one I go to all the time and the self-confidence and self-esteem and like really check it out, man. Like maybe all three of those books will talk, talk to you. Maybe one will talk to you. But once that one talk to you, stick to reading it. Read it over and over and over again. And then if you don't have time to read it, take advantage of what I call no extra time, net time. And this is where if you're riding in a taxi, you're driving, put it on an audio tape, put it on a YouTube, uh, vid YouTube and download it. And just listen to it while you're doing those other things. And it just starts, even if you, um, and this may shock you, even if you just need to put it on while you're sleeping, your subconscious mind will still hear that material and it'll start seeping in. And then you'll start seeing the way you're thinking is changing. The way you're seeing opportunities is changing. How you're approaching problems is even changing. And so that's one of the reasons why I read those books and this is why I read a lot of books over and over again. So I hope that helped you out if you're a big person into reading. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, how has it changed your life? What was your biggest takeaway from it? And then let me know also, are you interested in doing a book club? If you're here in South Africa and you want to start reading books, especially around professional development, let me know because I'm always looking for other people to mastermind with and bump ideas off with when it comes to these books. And so hope you have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Don't do nothing too crazy. I'm about to sit in the house and chill. And make sure you like the button, share this content. Remember, collaboration is the way of the future. And the only way we're going to start helping each other is if we start sharing and caring by collaborating and giving people the information that they need. And uh, last thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you can be notified when there's more videos and you can get more information like this on a daily basis. So have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.